somewhere special today. Uh, probably a lot of you have heard about the track of health or Trasa Zdorovia, but I find that the majority of tourists really go from Arcadia to the city center where all the people are, but there's another stretch of land from uh, Arcadia towards like the, the end of the city. I'll be going there to kind of just show you what choices you have in terms of restaurants for fish and seafood. I'll be strolling and admiring the sea. So we finally arrived here. The restaurant is just in front of me and the sea is behind me. The restaurant, as I told you, is called Riwa. We've been here once before and I even have a video about that. So if you want to watch it, you can watch it. Uh, we'll see if there are a lot of people. Probably we'll just take some simple fish food or some simple food uh, for takeout and maybe eat it here on the bench or uh, near the sea. The weather is amazing today. I think it uh, finally starts feeling like summer, but if there are not a lot of people there, maybe we could even eat inside with a view of the sea. Their menu is simply amazing. <laughs> There's so much seafood and so much fish. For fish lovers, definitely recommend the place. And it's called fish, so you can't really, you know, go any wrong here. We thought for ourselves to start with some fried uh, smelt fish, karushka. And then Eugene got himself a steak from catfish. And for an appetizer, we'll get shrimp and vegetable tartar and some beers. Half of the meal is already here. This is our appetizer with shrimps and fresh vegetables. And uh, this is my fish in this beautiful bowl. I'll just drizzle it with some lemon juice. I'll share with Eugene some, but it looks very, very delicious. And actually we made a change last minute. This is barabulka. Very fresh. <laughs> We just had a super delicious lunch and that was a big mistake because right now I am super sleepy, I don't want to walk and honestly it's a very very long way home. A lot of people have cottages here uh, by the state of them. It seems like they don't really use them year round, they don't live here, they just come here in the summer and maybe some of them rent it out in the summer to uh, tourists who come here. You wake up every morning, you have your morning coffee looking at the beach and then you walk for like two minutes and you're near the sea. This is amazing. Let's check out this beach. There are so many beaches here, so I'll write on the screen what, what the name of the beach is. Really nice sand. Not a lot of people, obviously, because it's not the season. There are some places here for shade. And you can see there are some new apartment buildings here. Some cottages. And probably here in the summer is the place where people get drinks. It's the bar. Let's check out the sea. The weather is so great. This is the sea in April in Odessa for you. I'm just uh, wearing a windbreaker and sweater and I'm pretty comfortable, but it's super sunny today. So I have to have to wear some shades. Otherwise you can see a lot of people. It seems like a very crowded place here. So let me just check it out for you guys. Yeah, it is a restaurant right on the beach. Don't know what this place is yet, but again, I will look it up and post it on the screen. They have a playground. They have places right on the beach. 
and uh, it's allowed to uh, smoke hookah, to smoke cigarettes. Actually, there's a joke uh, going among Ukrainians, among Odessans, that the only time you can see locals on the beach is in the winter and early spring before the tourists come, because this is the only time when you can have lots and lots and lots of space. It's super crowded in the summer, so all the local Odessans forget about the beach for a couple of months until it's like this again. Eugene is gonna get some coffee because we are feeling so sleepy after having this big and delicious lunch. In the meanwhile, I will check out the sea. Hopefully I will get a good view from here. Aww. I love watching families at the seaside with their blankets, playing with dogs, having a small picnic, chatting. Another place. I was reading for the longest time Siva with uh, Cyrillic letters and now I understood that actually it's called Cuba. Cuba. It's a beach club, really nice outside decor, but the beaches seem all kind of the same to me. Anyways, that's another one on your list here. We can actually go along and check out the sea. Oh, people are fishing here. Let's check it out. I'm really embarrassed to say that at this point I forgot to turn on my mic and the rest of the segment, there is no sound, but I decided to do a voiceover because there are still a couple of things that I wanted to show you and a couple of things that I wanted to mention and I really didn't want to cut the video short. Uh, one of those things is uh, what you're seeing right now, the clear blue water and uh, the lack of people is something that you really only see in winter and spring before the tourists come. Unfortunately, when they do come, uh, the beaches become much more dirtier. I know it's not all dependent on the people. Definitely in the summer, there are algae growing, the medusas are coming, uh, jellyfishes, I mean. Uh, you know, this all contributes kind of to um, a less clean water. But a lot of the time, the tourists just throw stuff into the water, throw stuff into the sand, and this all gets washed away. So <laughs> what you're seeing in this video is not something you'll get when summer comes and people are here, unfortunately. So along the track of health, there are a couple of spots where you can get um, drinks or food. Coffee and hot dogs is one of them. I think they have two locations on this uh, side of the track of health. But, um, you know, just be mindful of the fact that there are not a lot of food options, whether you eat at your beach club. So basically you go to a beach, you pay a fee, and they would usually have some sort of restaurant or cafe there. Or you take food from home or supermarket, or you're looking for the spots. But, um, you know, you can agree that hot dogs are not everyone's cup of tea. Now, one of my most favorite beaches is this one, and I like it because it is so, so, so spacious. I also like looking at it from, from this bridge. This was specifically made to uh, be able to gain access to people with disabilities, with, uh, to parents with strollers, and to people on bikes, um, you know, to be able to go to the beaches that are situated further away from Arcadia. It's a really nice construction. I find that generally this beach is really well connected and has a big hotel nearby. 
So we're almost in Arcadia. This is the last stretch of the track of health before we uh, reach the Arcadia Promenade. And as you can see, it's super green. A lot of you probably don't know that Odessa has problems with landslides uh, because of the effects of the sea, because of the hills and of the soil. So I was really happy to see that there are a lot of trees planted here. And honestly, it makes for uh, such a wonderful walking experience to be surrounded by trees uh, when you walk to breathe the fresh air. So definitely a really good walking experience. I see here every day people who are making sports, young and old. So guys, we've made it to Arcadia, finally. Uh, the sea is near me and this is a place called Plite Arcadia. If you go maybe five minutes there, you'll be on the Arcadia Promenade. And I hope you enjoyed this walk. I hope uh, it was uh, interesting for you. You learned something and you'll check it out the next time when you come here as a tourist. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.